So I ask you this, are you a radiator or a drain? Are you a neg ferret, a lead bottom, or a positive outlier? Do you radiate energy or do you suck the energy? Yeah. And here's my tip. Get rid of the drains before they demotivate you. If you are sucking the energy in the room, you probably won't admit it. Because the lead bottoms will not admit that they are an energy vampire. My request to all of you is try and radiate energy in the room. When you're with your partners or your friends or your family or your colleagues, try and radiate energy. Of course, you cannot do this 24-7. But if you do it more often, it'll become a habit. Just be a rational optimist, but don't suck the energy. Don't be one of those skeptics that's always negative. Be a rational optimist. That's my request to you. And then you will make a difference to people's lives. Do you agree or disagree with me, by the way? As I say here, don't adapt to the energy in the room. Influence the energy in the room. That's what I want you to do from now on. Go and influence the energy in the room. Here's the thing. You need to look in your teams. You need to look. For, to get effective change, you need those people at the front of the boat. The people at the back, those are the 10% that we mentioned before that won't listen. They are trying to sink your boat. And I hope that is none of you. I really hope. But basically, you've got about 20% of people that are engaged. Those are the paddlers or the rowers. You've got roughly 60% are sitting in the middle. As I like to say, they're doing just enough not to get fired. And then you've got 20%. This is the Pareto ratio, right? The 80-20 rule. Your 20% of your people will give you 80% of your output. Your job as leaders is to work out who's trying to sink your boat, get rid of them, and who are the passengers, how can you move them to the front of the boat? Really simple, huh? But does this make sense to you? I'm, it's at a very high level, but generally across the, across the world, 13, only 1%, 13% of people are engaged and happy in their jobs. Most people are unhappy in their jobs, and that comes from a worldwide survey of 140 countries and 240,000 employees. Boat. My message to you is the people at the front of the boat are the ones that are going to make change happen. I hope that you are at the front of that boat. That's what I'm hoping.